Well, we've got a fairly complicated subject today, which is exciting. Aren't you excited about it? It's not complicated at all. I'm making it more complicated than it is to, to, to talk about the complicated. Quad level cells, and pretty soon five level cells. See, the reality is that flash memory actually hasn't gotten less expensive. Like you may be thinking, oh, I can buy a, a four terabyte drive for $400 or a one terabyte drive for $100. And this is a great deal. Nope. The capacity of that one terabyte drive is basically equivalent to a 256 gig drive four years ago, which was also around $100. Because they've moved from single and two level cells to like four level cells and pretty soon five level cells. There's all this software magic going on under the hood to pack more stuff in per flash cell. So when you buy a flash drive, you're not actually buying more flash cells, they're just packing in more bits per flash cell. So inner drives like the Intel 660P, it's a quad level you know, SSD. When you first get it, you run the benchmarks, you run crystal disk mark and things like that. It actually performs really well. But as the drive fills up and things get weird, it slows down because packing more and more information is sort of tough. Some drives cheat. Even the Fison, the PCI Express 4 SSDs, the, the Aorus NVMEs that we reviewed, they pack in information first in single level mode. So when it's a quarter of the capacity, it's gonna be super fast. And then when you're filling in halfway, the controller on the drive is trying to do some stuff to juggle it, but there's a portion of the quad level cells that are being used in single level mode. And uh, you lose you know, when you write in that way, you lose four times the capacity and depending on the algorithm on the SSD, it may not actually work really well. Well, enter in modus. Remember in modus, those are the people that did store MI for AMD and they've got the software that's like, okay, you're using your, your frequently used stuff is going to live on an SSD for reading and your less frequently stu used stuff is gonna live on a mechanical hard drive and you can sort of get the best of both worlds so you can have a really fast machine with tons of capacity. Well, guess what? That's where we are with SSDs, except it's not read. Quad level cells are plenty fast for reading. It's writing. So it's a little different situation, but algorithmically, it's almost the same software. So enter Inmodus. Inmodus has got new firmware. They've been working with Fison and, and others. We've got new firmware for SSDs for their Mi driver, my drive, MI drive. And what this does is like you go throw AI in there, right? It's like, it's AI. That's a fancy way of saying the algorithm's complicated and trained on, you know, real world data. So the firmware on these drives is designed to operate with four and five level flash cells, but it's going to work very hard to preserve the single level cache functionality. So for writes, it ends up being insanely fast. And because you've, and with the FISON controller, you've got the option for DRAM, you've got the option for some other stuff, but because of the magic of their software, more than the architecture of the physical SSD, you can actually get much better Q depth one performance. So the test drive that I have from Inmodus is PCI Express 3.0. It's not even PCI Express 4.0. And yet for Q depth one transfers, things like loading a game, loading a level, stuff like this, stuff that you might buy an Intel Optane for, which is vastly more expensive for whatever reason than uh, quad level cell flash SSD drives. You're not, you're not gonna get a, an Optane of reasonable capacity for $100, let's just say that. So we're in a situation where the software on the SSD, if it's a little smarter, you can actually get better performance in terms of gaming and loading and that kind of thing. So for Q depth eight, with one transfer running at a time, you move from about 200, 250 megabytes per second on your typical Fison PCI Express 4 SSD to over 500 megabytes per second on the Inmodus PCI Express 3 SSD that has smarter firmware. So this is just something cool and exciting. There was a couple press releases the other day, I think Tweaktown did an article on it and it's like, oh, we're gonna use SLC caches with multi-level cells. This is actually kind of a big deal. Like the firmware, PCI Express 4 SSDs in general, were kind of rushed out the door. And it's still true that your best performance with a PCI Express 4 SSD is gonna be when it's nowhere near filled to capacity. 
But if you're doing this kind of juggling and using some of the cells in single level mode and that kind of thing, and you're doing wear leveling in the firmware on the controller in a, in a sane way, then you're gonna improve endurance, you're gonna improve read speed, you're gonna improve sort of the Q-Depth 1 type situations. Now for write speed, because it's algorithmic, it's not just gonna blindly use that single level cell cache. So think like installing a game. The algorithm has to be smart enough so that like when you're installing a really big game like GTA 5, it doesn't just clobber the entire write cache. So if you do a benchmark on, I'm gonna just write a game, the write speed's not gonna be that great. It's gonna be like 500 megabytes per second, which is about what the write speed is for quad level cells once you've hit that capacity. But, if you go play the game and you do other stuff and you're doing lots of writes to the Windows system area and save games and temporary files and stuff like that, that's gonna run at gigabytes per second like it should because the controller on the drive knows what you're doing and it's reserving that space for you. Maybe you're doing media ingest or something like that. It's smart enough to know the difference, at least from my testing, for certain kinds of media ingest versus just say bulk downloading. It's like, you're gonna download this and it's coming in over the wire. So this is not the same as copying from a memory card that's, you know, the, the, the new USB 3, five gigabit per second, like as fast as you possibly can memory card. And so because the data stream's not coming in super fast, it doesn't even really need to write it to the single level cell area, which is pretty cool. It's pretty genius. So yeah, you can have a PCI Express 3 SSD that's faster than a PCI Express 4 SSD, not in terms of raw throughput, but how responsive it makes the system. This is gonna be critically important for five level cells. Like this software, honestly, it surprises me that there's not more sophisticated software like this on there. This is also, by the way, some of the uh, stuff that companies like Samsung have been doing. Like if you look at some of the benchmarks of like Samsung versus the older Intel SSDs, the Samsung SSDs are almost as fast as Optane. And it's because Samsung has put a ton of money and work, et cetera, in their algorithms and they charge for it. With Inmodus entering the market, it's gonna be a little disruptive because you don't necessarily need Samsung's level of R&D to get the Samsung special sauce for the, you know, the 970 Pro level of performance. At least that's what I'm hoping will happen. So, good job in Modus. I'm Wendell, this is level one. In Modus has got another interesting product. Can't buy it yet, but maybe offered on SSDs soon. I'm not sure. It's interesting stuff. I'm signing out and I'll see you later. Thank you.